Hey guys, in today's video we have this Mazda CX-5 that's been hit on the right side. The impact was severe enough causing the doors to press into the rocker panel, so we'll be replacing both the doors and the rocker panel. I've marked out all the spot welds that I'll need to remove, so let's get started. Here, Mazda wants you to section it 54 millimeters below the center of the hole, so I've measured and marked the line. I'll do the same for the other two cuts. I'm cutting off the rocker panel about a quarter inch shorter than where the final cut is. You'll see why I did this later on. With the rough cuts and spot welds removed, I'll start separating the panel with a hammer and chisel. I do this to check if I've missed any spot welds. With the panel off, we can inspect the inner structure for any damage. Here's the new rocker panel. What I'll do is fit the old one over top, then cut it about 2 inches above for some wiggle room. Here I'm fitting up the new rocker panel. As you can see I'm overlapping it. We'll make a final cut for the butt joint once it's fitted. Now I'm ready to make my final cut. I'll measure and mark my final cut lines at all three sectioning points. With the panel overlapping, I'm being sure to cut through both the new rocker and the old one. Doing it this way ensures that your butt joint will be a perfect width of the saw blade. With the rocker panel off, I can remove what's left over of the old part. I'll start prepping the new panel and car for spot welds. I'll have to clean the contact points of where the spot welds go. This means cleaning down the e-coat to the bare metal on both sides of the rocker panel.
Then a couple coats of weld through primer on the inside. I'll repeat the same steps for the car. With all the prepping done, I can install the panel and start welding. I'll begin by tack welding the butt joints followed by the spot welds. Once I'm finished with the spot welds, I'll go back and complete the butt joints. With the welding done, I clean up the butt joint with a grinder, then a mini sander. Now it's ready for a coat of body filler. I'll finish with the bodywork, just a coat of etch primer and it's ready for paint.
All painted and looking great. Now we just need to put it back together. I'll finish with this one. Thanks for watching.